how are you doing? This is Yinka Ojo on Guy Talk. Welcome again to my channel. I want to talk to you today on something very important. But guess what? I just want to celebrate all of you who are my recent subscribers. I want to clap for you, celebrate you, I welcome you. And um, for those of us who are yet to subscribe, I want you to take a minute right now, a few seconds actually, why don't you hit um, that subscribe button and uh, let's be a part of this family. We are bringing out the truth that manliness and Christ-likeness are synonymous. They are the same. If you really want to be a true man, learn the principle of principles of Christ and you will be a real man. Also remember, not only do I want you to subscribe right now, I want you to comment. I want you to like this video, interact, and um, share this video. When you do that, you are helping us to notify YouTube, to let them know that this is a channel worth sharing with a larger um, world of YouTube. Also, why don't you hit the bell? There's a bell there. It's the notification bell. It lets you know whenever um, I post a new video and I'm posting new videos every week, sometimes two, three times a week, bringing out the truth, pushing out relevant information that many a times you cannot just get from saying I go to school, I go to university. These are real principles from the throne of God, the throne of grace that will make you a great man. All right, so make sure you do all of this and then uh, I really will appreciate you. Let's get over a uh, hundred and start moving on beyond that this very month within a few days and i know we can do it tell your friends uh, uh to, to 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 also subscribe and let's make this a bigger community thank you very much now let's get into this i have a very interesting topic i want to talk about today and that's the issue of betting lottery and gambling i want to talk about that because it is very important it's a subject and topic that we need to talk about from the perspective of god in heaven and for children of god uh, who are god fearing who are followers of jesus christ what do you think should a christian be involved in betting sports betting in lottery and in gambling all of these things in nigeria alone um betting and lottery and gambling um, have taken on a new dimension in the past few years, especially with the advent of um, social media, the internet, um, mobile phones, and, and all of that uh, in Nigeria, just sport betting alone, betting on football teams that will win and all, betting on sports betting alone, 60 million Nigerians are involved. Out of 200 million Nigerians, 60 million Nigerians are involved in sport betting and they are, they, these are people between 18 and 40. We're not counting those who are younger than 18 who, should, who are betting illegally. We're not talking about adults over 40 who are also betting. Between 18 and 40 years old, we have 60 million Nigerians who are doing sport betting and, um, and it's a, it, the fact the, the betting industry in Nigeria is a 5 billion naira a day industry. I'm, I'm shocked when I came across that. 5 billion dollar daily industry. 5 billion naira. Beg your pardon. 5 billion naira daily industry is the betting industry in Nigeria. I think uh, from a rough estimate, 100 million Nigerians bet off and on, actually. Half of Nigerians are betting. I've traveled all over Nigeria. I've seen how people crowd around betting kiosks and they are betting and they are gambling and they are, they are, they are going into all that. What does God have to say about that? Do you even think, know that God has something to say about everything that's going on on the planet Earth? God has something to say about it. He either sanctions it or he disapproves of it. What does he have to say about gambling, about betting, about the lottery? Uh, I want us to look at a few things. Uh, today, of course, the Word of God is our highest authority if you're a follower of Christ Jesus. The Bible is what we want to look at. And um, God, number one, God is interested in money. He created money. Before Adam and Eve were created by God in the Garden of Eden, God created gold and He put it in the Garden of Eden waiting for man. And then, of course, gold, you know, money is denominated based on gold and, and uh, money, gold is another terminology in the Word of God for riches and wealth and money so in other words god created money for the use of mankind 
So God is interested in how you use money, how you earn money, how you manage money, how you make money, how you, you give money, and all of that. It's very, very important for you to realize that God is very interested. It's of great importance to you, God. So, when you take money and you get involved in lottery, lottery is a form of gambling. We're talking about random numbers um, when it comes to lottery, which are drawn for a prize. And, and then anything about betting deals with, with direct uh, gambling because it involves chance, it involves taking a risk, it involves a leap in the dark. By those phrases I've made, if you know anything about God, you will find out that God wants our lives to be lived based on design. He wants our lives based, to be lived based on principles. And that's basically, essentially, what the Holy Scriptures is. a book of principles from God to his creature, people, creatures that are in his image and his likeness, mankind. So God doesn't want you taking your life and putting it in the hands of chance and uh, a leap in the dark uh, concerning that. But that's not even, even um, um, the deep part of betting and gambling and, and, and the lottery. The root of gambling, the root of betting, any betting, the root of any form of lottery is the desire for easy money and quick money. Gambling and betting undermines the work ethic. The principle that there is dignity in labor, that you work and you earn from what you work for, which is what, if, especially the book of Proverbs in the Bible, teaches a lot, diligence, dignity of labor, working hard and seeing God step by step bless the work of your hand until you enter into prosperity. Uh, when you begin to get into betting and into gambling, you find out that you are deviating from the holy sacred principles of dignity of labor god's word says that anybody who, who who lays his hands who works who is diligent he will not stand before main men he will not be with poor people he will rise up and be with the people at the top uh, and so god is a god of diligence there's nothing called diligence in, in in gambling and in lottery and in playing the lotto and in in, in betting think about it the root is quick and easy money. God's word discourages quick money. And um, actually, when you think about it deeply, betting is, involves something coming from nothing. You are expecting to win a lot of money out of really nothing you've done. You've just put a little money and you've click a few things that is not work that is not labor that kind of philosophy god does not support the god of heaven does not support such a philosophy i know um, not too many people have gotten teachings like this and that's why you are watching this today you need your mind grounded concerning this but another dimension um, to this issue of betting and gambling is the fact that by the time you look at the percentage of those who ever win and the percentage of those who never win, that alone should change your mind concerning what we are dealing with. Is God for it or not for it? Gambling is an addiction. It's an addiction. Actually, if you look at the technical um, meaning of addiction, you see that addiction is actually a disease. Addiction has been classified now as a sickness as a disease. Jesus is the healer. He wants to take all sickness and disease away from you. But addiction is a disease. A disease whereby a person cannot stop a behavior, even when it brings harm to them and when it brings harm to the people around them. What kind of harm does betting and gambling bring? How does it harm you? How does it harm your loved ones? I'm going to deal with that in a short while. Many families are destroyed by people who are addicted to gambling, who are addicted to betting who take money, that they just put money into one form of betting and gambling or the other. Many families are, de are destroyed. Divorces have happened. People, the family goes into bankruptcy. The finances of the family is destroyed. Uh, situations have occurred in which because of this addiction to betting and gambling, child abuse has taken place because the man especially becomes an aggressor because he's frustrated because he's losing money. Also, domestic violence uh, where where a man beats up the wife that's all of that going on because he's frustrated maybe the wife rightly so voices are disapproval that the money the family money is being utilized 
in all this electronic gambling, web, gambling website, betting website, and she dares to voice her, her, her disapproval that can lead to uh, fracas in the house, that can lead to physical abuse, beating up, and all of that. What else? Uh, comes as a risk. These are actually what I'm sharing with you. Actually, statistically and scientifically researched and proven concerning people that gamble. Um, but not only that, the crime, stealing crime, begins to creep in because when it becomes an addiction, then uh, the, the people who are involved in betting begins to steal. Someone, a young guy, was talking to me and told me that he, he's, in, he's in secondary school, it's junior secondary school, and he says that his friends. They come to church with, a, I mean, they come to school with a lot of money. These are these are children between 12, 13, 14 years old. They buy so many expensive things, and um, uh, and they ask them that where are you getting money, and they say, oh, we're betting. We're always spending time betting. So where? So I asked, where do they keep on getting the money to bet? You, you, you research it and you find out that they start stealing from the house, pilfering from the surroundings, so that they can have enough money. So betting leads to another crime. The crime of stealing and pilfering, and uh, actually a, a number of uh, situations of suicide have been linked to betting. In certain areas, suicide jumped up and increased. People killing them, so taking their lives because they didn't win, or because they utilized somebody else's um, somebody else's money, and they thought it will come. And uh, the money, unfortunately, did not come. I'm just uh, reading today um, the story of a man who took money from his, uh, uh, from his company, uh, millions of naira, and he went to use it to play um, a betting, and put it in betting, and they lost. So the man has now been picked up, and he's in jail. I was just reading that in the papers today. Um, and I think it's so talking about betting, gambling, and um, lottery still people that bet are plagued with depression they are plagued with, because they're wondering will i win will i not win it's been found out they are plagued with migraine headaches they are plagued with dis plagued with distress intestinal disorder and all such now another reason why a child of god should not be involved in gambling and betting is the fact that this gambling and betting industry preys on the desperation of the poor. They, they capitalize on the desperation of the poor. I look at all the people that stay by those kiosks in my country, Nigeria, trying to, to, to make hands, made, trying to, to find the right figures, trying to play this betting and this gambling issue. I see how many of them are on the lower strata, cadre of the economics, uh, economic ladder. And I see uh, the few people that own this betting houses the betting in the company and industry they are fantabulously fantastically stinkingly wealthy i uh, pray that that can't be of god praying on the desperation of poor people trying to to just see whether they can um, improve their lives by being uh, by having sudden wealth and by, by by their ignorance so gambling and betting is based on that get rich quick syndrome and God is against it. God is for good stewardship principles. When you put good stewardship principles, you are hardworking in a honest job. You're educated. Uh, you start a business. You deliver goods. You render services. You give unto God. Plant seed into God's kingdom. And you manage money properly. God is going to allow you to build steady, perpetual, lasting wealth. But they, oh, all of that concept I discovered, in, I, I, I described in a nutshell, Gambling and playing bet cancels it, negates it, does not approve with it. For every person that wins, untold hundreds of thousands of people are dipped into sorrow because they've lost. That cannot be God's plan. And, if you can, and they will never show you the individual homes and families and minds and lives of the people that keep on putting the money in and the money is being sucked away and the sorrow that follows their life remember god's word says love your neighbor as yourself that is god's plan love your neighbor as yourself god cannot be behind such on uh, such activities where untold sorrow is given to many 
many people. Not only that, did you know that there is this statistics? Check it yourself. Everything I'm telling you, scientifically backed, statistically proven. 70% of those who make sudden money, quick money, I want you to take note of Proverbs 2021 20, when I say this. Sudden money, quick money, through lottery, through gambling, through betting. 70% of them who make big money, they go bankrupt, they go poor within a few short years. 70% of them. Because that scripture I quoted to you, Proverbs 2021, 20, says that when you get money, sudden money, quickly, hastily, the end thereof is still sorrow and sadness coming your way. That's why I encourage children of God, don't get involved in betting. Don't get involved in playing lottery. Don't get involved in gambling. It's not good. Even the environment where people gamble, where they play lottery. Maybe you've ever been to a casino and you see people. The word of God says in 1 Corinthians 15.33, evil communication corrupts good manners or bad company corrupts good manners. The kind of people that are there, the kind of uh, people that are given to crime, given to vices that you find in gambling and in, um, in betting environments. That's those kind of shady people. That's not the kind of company that a child of God should be keeping perpetually. That's not. So believers should avoid such. That's why you, another reason why you should avoid such. And finally, let me just put it in, that gambling and betting undermines your trust in God as Jehovah Jireh as your provider. Philippians 4.19 says, My God shall supply all your needs according to riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Let God be your provider. Let Jesus be the one who you put your trust in for finances. And he will make a way. You can be a witness, a better witness. How can you witness to people and testify that, oh, this money, this wealth, I got it because of hundreds of thousands of other people that got sorrowful and their money was given to me. Uh, uh, and I didn't work, they didn't deliver any product or service unto me, or I, neither did I deliver it unto them. Uh, think about that. Let, your, let God's spirit touch your conscience. I don't believe that betting, gambling, or playing the lottery is God's plan for his children. So, what do you have to say concerning what I've said? Let me hear from you. I want to hear your comments. I want to know what you've got to say. Also remember, I want you to subscribe and encourage others to subscribe. Let's build this channel together. Also, I want you to hit the notification bell so that you can know when I post a new video. And also share this, like this. Until next time, when I come your way, keep ruling and reigning and keep Jesus as Lord of your life. Bye.